Hi, I'm Greg Hackney, and I want to talk to you about how to pick weights for a flipping jig or, um, you know, a jig that you're throwing around boat docks, throwing around cover, you know, fishing brush piles, fishing rip wrap, just a jig that you're going to fish cover with, regardless of what type of cover that is, it doesn't matter. Uh, depth of water, weight choices, and how that would change throughout the year. You know, the situations when the water's cold and I'm fishing shallow, you know, maybe fishing a rip wrap bank like we have here behind us you know, fish around these boat docks, and I'll use a 3 8 because of water temperature, because I want to slow the rate of fall down. You know, I'll fish a rage crawl on the back of it. You know, that would even slow it down even more, and that, putting a rage crawl on the back of a 3 8 ounce flipping jig will make that jig fish basically like a quarter, you know, because that rage crawl has so much draw, and I'm using a smaller weight, yet that 3 8 is enough weight casting-wise and accurate casting and skipping it in under boat docks and places it needs to go I still have enough weight to get it in there, but by putting that big trailer on the back of it, I've slowed it down. So it's kind of the best of two worlds. In that same situation, if we came to that boat dock and that same cover and the water temperature's, you know, 55 or more, I might want to use the same trailer and go to a half. That would speed the jig up slightly, but still by having that rage crawl on there, I'm keeping it, you know, a little slower. And, and so on as the year goes, I mean, there's, certain situations in the summertime where I'm fishing in two foot of water and I'm using a three quarter because I'm needing that weight to get it through cover. So, you know, basically when I'm picking jig choices, the first thing I'm going to look at is water temp. I'm going to stick towards the lower weights, you know, as long as the water, say, realistically is under, you know, 65 or so. And um, this is what a lot of people don't understand a lot of times by that. A three quarter ounce jig laying on the bottom and a 3 8 ounce jig laying on the bottom, just laying there, looks the same with the same trailer. But because that 3 quarter, I can stay in contact with it so quickly and feel it and it'll go right back to the bottom, I will have a tendency to fish it faster. Where if I throw a 3 8 in that same depth of water with the same trailer on it, I cannot feel it as well. It is not going to get back to the bottom as fast and it will just naturally slow me down. So a lot of times when I want to fish slower, you know, if it's, I'm needing to saturate the cover or the water's colder, I'd use a lighter weight for that reason. It's not that when a fish will not bite the three quarter on the bottom in the same situation, it's to slow me down personally. You just need to think about that when you're picking jig weights. If I need to saturate cover, regardless of water temp, and I want to do a really, really thorough job of doing it, I just throw a light weight. It's not that in that same depth in certain situations, I may have caught them on a one ounce, but, in, but if I'm wanting to slow down, just keep the weight small, keep the trailer large. You know, another thing that I do during cold water is I go to a plastic chunk, say over the rage crawl, because then I just want bulk, but I don't want a lot of action. You know, there's gonna be certain situations when that fish doesn't want that swimming action. But as the water heats up, I want that action. You know, that's when I'll go to a rage crawl. But just a few things to think about. I typically stay pretty natural on colors, match my trailers to the jig, uh, but if I'm wanting to slow down, just lower the weights. If I want to speed up, just increase the weight. It'll just naturally work that way for you. It's not that you have to speed up, it's just because of the rate of fall and that bait getting to the bottom quicker, it will speed up the whole process. Just some things to think about the next time you know, you're picking jig weights. Just think about the water temperature, think about the cover that you're fishing and how fast and how aggressive the fish is. But what I try to do is fish as heavy a jig as I can get by with. Like I said, a lot of times that's only a 3 8 but if it can be a 3 quarter, I want the 3 quarter in my hand because the more cast I make, the more fish I'll catch. If the fish is aggressive and they'll bite the bigger jig. Just, you know, simple things to think about when you're picking jig weights.